on average every job opening gets 250 300 500 even 1000 resumes haven't you seen those numbers on linkedin jobs on nokri why they should shortlist your resume after that they hardly shortlist three five seven candidates for interviews why they should select you if you don't have answers to these questions that is the fundamental reason behind rejections in your job search over 16 years of my career journey i've seen both the sides i've been a corporate employee and an employer so i exactly know what employers expect when they are doing hiring and as an employee how you go to them and today working as a career coach with 500 plus experienced professionals i exactly know what are the mistakes you might be doing in your job search if you don't have answer to these questions why they should hire you and not others what you bring to the table. You're basically dreaming for a job. You're basically going to the employers with a begging bowl, requesting for a job. This way you will never get respect. You will never get a really high paying job because they are never convinced about you. Instead, in this video, I'll give you a formula, a ready-made formula for your job search success. So watch this video till the end. I'll give you how you should be able to to answer these questions and more importantly how you should approach your job search and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to this uh, channel so that you will see more and more such videos and these videos will reach more people as well let us understand the core problem in your job search is your mindset you are having in your job search the core problem is you start your job search because you need a job. You need a salary. You need to pay your bills. You need to send your children to better schools. You need to pay off your EMI. But have you thought why they hire you? Are they in a job of hiring people? If you take any company in any industry, they are never the purpose of th that organization is not to hire people. What is that purpose? Why do they hire you? Let me ask you, do they hire people like you for your benefit or their benefit? And wherever you are watching this video, please put your answer below this video in the comments. Do they hire you for your benefit or their benefit? Let us understand why hiring takes place. You are in a job market. Market means where value exchange happens. You exchange your value. You exchange as an employee with them, with the employers in return of the money. That's why they hire you. They do not hire you for the skills, experience, certifications. They hire you for the output, for the benefits they will get from you. That's the answer. They are rejecting you because you are not showing the results, the benefits they will get using your skills, experience, certifications, qualification, hard skills, soft skills. The things you are showing currently on your resume are inputs. They hire you for the output. Got it? And when I ask this question, when I have a, a job search masterclass every week, by the way, you, you should attend my job search masterclass. You will find that link below this video, wherever you are watching this video. And I ask this question, do you know the answer why they should hire you? And always I get this answer, Harshan, I'm hardworking. I'm capable. I'm honest, I have long experience, I'm dedicated. Really? Do they hire you because you are dedicated? You are only telling the skills on your resume, the experience on your resume. But how those skills are going to benefit them? You might have a long experience as a senior professional, but which role you will be perfect for and you will be able to use that experience for the benefit of the organization. What you bring to the table, why they should hire you. Keep thinking about this throughout the job search. This is exactly what they are looking for when they are looking at your resume. This is exactly the question they are asking you in your screening calls. This is exactly what they want to hear in your introductions. This is exactly what they are finally calculating when they are making the decision. Let me ask you, if you are a software developer watching this video, using your software development skills, how exactly you will help them develop products for their clients. 
if you are a sales professional how exactly you build relationships and how you will be able to do consultative sales so that that company increases revenues if you are a senior hr professional using your experience and unique hr skills how exactly you will help the company reduce their employee uh, their i mean employee turnover and increase their employee retention if you are working as a legal counsel using your long experience and in depth knowledge how exactly you will help the company with compliance as a financial controller how exactly you will help them with work within tighter budgets and still increase the bottom line do you know the answer to this question my friends this is called as unique value proposition what exactly you bring to the table what is the value you are offering to the organization and in return you are going to earn that hefty salary this is unique value proposition this is the answer you need throughout the job search why you should get hired what you bring to the table and if you can showcase that on your resume in your introductions in all your in, uh, interview questions you will surely get hired and even before that you should think where you will bring value which companies will need your value and if you target those companies those industries those job types you will surely get shortlisted for interviews and that is when you have to convince them with your unique value proposition and what i'm going to do now is that below this video i'm giving 10 examples for various role types make your own unique value proposition using those examples now you know why they should hire you now you are confident about your capabilities because you are ready to give output using those capabilities now you are confident about presenting yourself in interviews make sure you do that in interviews make sure your entire resume the skills especially the experience section talks about output using the power words and i have a separate video about power words about uh, experience section i am putting all those links below this video wherever you are watching this video how are you feeling now confident yes i know you might have stressed out about rejections but please understand this foundational mindset of being a value giver changes your entire job search path yes are you ready to be a value giver now below this video your next action steps are below this video you will find 10 examples of unique value proposition make your unique value proposition and put that below this video wherever you are watching this video put that in the comments below i will answer personally to your unique value proposition let me know why they should hire you and if you like this video hit that like button wherever you are watching me subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on linkedin attend my job search master class and let me be your partner in your job search journey